Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lens Island. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. Lens Island, we played a little while back. Picked it up, played it, um, and then there was going to be an update coming. And it was a big update that was coming, and it was the Uncharted Waters that showed up in December. Since then, December, January, February, all kinds of updates have come out, and so I thought we'd jump back in and try Lens Island again and see what we thought of it. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. I enjoyed it last time. It's a top-down game. My tasted games have kind of changed over the last couple of years. Lens Island is a really nice, relaxing game. Nice music, great sounds, uh, and, and all that great stuff. So let's call this, um, we're going to call this uh, Condoria, just like we normally do. Create a new game. Uh, creative is coming soon. There's a standard version, the standard survival game, which again, that was the Uncharted Waters, Lens Island Uncharted Waters. And hardcore is coming soon as well. Here is our character. Here is Len. We're going to go with WASD. Uh, and next, uh, we've got the Garth Hinterlands, the Acacian Plains, Zengard City, and Jero Islands. I think we start out as where's he from? I want to say the Garth Hinterlands for no other reason. There is a female and male version. Uh, does Len wear shoes? He doesn't, and I I, I don't know why. I, I probably should look that up. I'm sure that's definitely a thing. Something to something to know. Let's do this. Let's pick our color. Let's go with the darker hair, and we can go ahead and pick through these different hairstyles, and they should all be kind of that right there. You can see. Uh, we'll go with some longer hair. There we go. And then we can pick our shirt. We've got that. We've got a vest and nothing. Uh, I'm going to go with the vest, and I guess it's brown is our choice there. Our shirt, we've got the t-shirt, v-neck, we've got a button-up t-shirt, sort of like long johns underneath our, their vest. And we got a long sleeve shirt, looks very uncomfortable. And this shirt here, uh, with the buttons. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with that one and go, no, we're going to go, that's the t-shirt, huh? Yeah, let's go, hmm, we we'll go that one with the blue. Down here, we're going to go with some pants. What we got? We got... Pants with a belt, pants rolled up, shorts, let's go pants with a belt, we'll go with the darker brown, uh, yeah, there we go, there's Lynn, there's there's like Ronan Condorian right there, now what's this, okay, that's going to change it back, okay, gotcha, there we go, alright, start game, here we go, alright, so a lot's changed, it's a lot bigger world as you can see from just the startup map here, it's a big, big place. Town is no longer some place you just go to and and make money at right away. We're going to have to do some work to help the town out, which is pretty cool. And then there's the building aspect of the game. There's the rafts and boats in the game. Your once safe home was destroyed by the voids. The mysteries of the darkness that drives them is yet to be uncovered. No one understands its power or where it came from. You are ferried to the Forgotten Island where the Lightstone Rush began, hoping to build a new life. Here we are, our first uh, box here. Here we go, managing your hot bar and backpack. All the information you need to know about that right here. We've got our hot bar down here. And your backpack is your backpack. You can only carry what you can carry in a backpack. Anything after that won't go in your backpack. So if it says you can carry 100 wood, if you have 102 wood that you've cut down, you're only gonna pick up 100 wood. The other two are gonna just lay there. So there's not like a weight limit, but there is a uh, number limit on what you can have in your backpack and stuff like that. Uh, the box we're in right now is the box we go to for our tools at any time. That's where we keep them. That's where we pull them from and so on and so forth. You get your food and farming. I noticed there are seeds in the game. So seeds are going to be a thing that we're going to be working towards. And then there's there. this is the backpack part over here. Uh, hopefully you guys get a chance to look at all that. And we can close. I'm going to go ahead and put my pick on number one, sword on three, and axe on number two. Very nice. And here's Len. Woohoo! Up we go. And let's cut our first push down. They each attack. There we go. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll explain this as we go. Do you have bonus damage from landing critical hits? There we go. So, you can see a little flash around his uh, sword. You see that little flash? If I time it right, you can make it uh, swing a little faster. There you go. A little bit like that. There we go. You get a whole bunch that way. Okay. Not, am I always going to hit that? No. 
I'm not always going to hit that. Uh, we've got something over here. What is this? This is where I'm at. This is our map. Take a look at that. Hmm? we got a map now. Uh-huh. Didn't have a map before, but we do now. There we go. We've learned about the map. Let's go ahead and just start breaking some stuff. We'll grab some clay. Do a few things. Construct a house. Place a bed. And visit the mayor. We'll do those things. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. I was looking forward to getting back in here. I noticed that there... I knew there was updates coming to the game, so... I was happy to see it here, and then I tried it out for a little bit, and I was like, oh man, I do. I, I enjoyed playing this before. We, we built like a two- or three-story house, and I think that was kind of a mistake on my part in the first go and trial of the game. I went, I went too big. I remember there's glass bottles and stuff along the shoreline. We'll, we'll take a look at this. We're going to take a walk around and see what the new and improved Lens Island looks like. We'll come over here with number one. You can see that flash on my pickaxe, too. Same thing applies. As, as we improve our weapons and tools, they will swing even faster. Cause more damage, and we'll get more resources. Uh, number two. And let's go ahead and chop down a couple of trees. Axe has the same effect. I notice the axe is not cutting down that bush next to it, though. The axe is kind of now trees. Is, it, it's for trees. Boxes, barrels, things of that nature. So I feel like that's kind of a thing. One more. Let's see how much wood we have when this one falls. Nice little counter down there in the bottom of the corner of the screen, bottom right, shows you how many you have. Beautiful. We should probably grab a couple more. What is this asking for? This is a bridge out to here. If you click on the bridge, you can see what we need to repair it. 80 wood and 20 fiber. I believe we have to do that. Eventually. Oh, ah, ah, yeah. Base, base. I was wondering about that. I hadn't had that happen to me. <laughs> I think we need to find some berries, uh, for sure. We found a few. It seems like these here give a little bit more fiber. Yeah, it almost seems like the, the bush that has this little tassel on it gives out more fiber than the uh, this bush right here. That gave me a bunch. Gave me a couple. Hmm. I need 80 wood to do that, too. We might as well open it. We're right here, right? We're trying to game out. we got to construct a house as well. Maybe I should get the house a little something built. And then fix the bridge. There's some berries over there. Don't pass up the berries. There's a barrel down there to go explore and take a look at. Uh, okay, so we have the wood now. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's just fix it. Bam. We've repaired this bridge. Now let's go over here and see what kind of... Oh, we got a thing over here, a stone. There are three areas we have to do for this to activate the cave. Boom. shaka like a like a boom That's part of a quest. Don't leave those barrels behind. They've got important pieces, parts in there. You want to make sure you get them. Well, let's restock a little bit of our wood. Oh, looks like the bees moved to that tree. Dang it. Oh, did we fall off of here? There we go. Okay, so where should we set up a little tiny place to call, you know, kind of home, sweet home for the moment? It is showing me that I should be use a sword to, to uh, bang on that. Here's a hot fishing spot right there. We'll 
grab a little resource in our pockets here, right? I think I'd like to be someplace closer to the cave and where town is, so we're kind of looking for that right now. Ah, uh, here's some roses. Okay, this is town right here. This is going to take us into town. Let's go ahead and restock some fiber. Look at him, look at him. Just ugh, rage, just rage. And we'll get some more wood. Surprise, right? Fiber and wood? I mean, who would have thought, right? Survival game? Fiber and wood? Oh man, you know what I, you know what I, one thing I remembered about this game too, last time we played, is the outdoor sounds are amazing. That's a big one right there. Mm-hmm, Tim Burr. Give me all that goodness. Mm-hmm. There have been tons and tons of work done on this game over the last, um, oh, I'm full few months last couple of months just tons and tons of things done been really cool uh, can I light these oh I can look at that I didn't know that that's interesting can I not light this like maybe I, I can't use that one don't know we gotta come and see the mayor this is the inn in town now when I come in here you got my frames up in the upper hand corner of the screen upper right hand corner uh, we can see my frames are taking kind of a hit when we come into town here. Next, hello, traveler. Just passing through, thanks. What is this place? This is Bridgewater Traveler. My name is Gerald. I am the mayor of this corner of the world. If you are settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travelers come to Bridgewater, but very few stay. Please donate any spare building supplies at the town notice board. We desperately need resources to rebuild and upgrade the town. If you help me build Bridgewater back up again, I'll clear new plots of land for citizens to move in. Alright, so if we look at the board over here, you can see right here in order to get this upgrade we need 50 clay, 100 stone, 50 fiber, and 100 wood. And then that would get us into, uh, what do we get there? We get two house plots shot by two stones. Two, uh, two shops for the upgrade. And a new shop will be opening the furniture builder, something like that. All right, so that's, that's on the agenda. The first thing we're gonna do though is try to go get ourselves a little bit of a place to call home. I don't think we can do anything with these here, can we? No, you, yeah, you can't do nothing with the stuff inside town. You used to be able to, I think, pick a lot of stuff and break a lot of stuff, but you really can't do that much anymore. What do we got in here, anything? Nothing for us to pick up. It's kind of nice to see how these are laid out, too, you know? Got a little bit ambitious, I think, with my build. How come I can't light this one? That's interesting. Maybe I don't have any coal. I don't know. Uh, last place I set up a little bit of a shop was right over in here, I think. Let's check the map. Okay, so far we've picked all this up. There's a little pool of water here. Where's this little pool of water? Oh, there's some berries. Let's grab those berries. We need those for food. Didn't we see a puddle? Oh, I wonder if the town is located in it. That might be a problem. I, the town, for some reason, on the map doesn't seem to show up. It seems kind of weird that it's not something you see on the map. Maybe once we start building it up, it'll show up on the map. So maybe we want to be... Let's put this way, way up at the top, but I think there's other stuff out here eventually. But you know what? Let's just, pick, let's just pick... I'll pick the spot I was just in a little bit ago. There was no water up here for us, right? I'm going to find a place with water so we can have a beautiful view. Let's go down over to here. Uh, there. Can I put a sword there? Does that... It doesn't really show up on anything, does it? We're going to head down this way, though. Let's we'll see what we find. We got a wall here, map. Uh, 
Well, here's a barrel. Picked up a little bit of stone. There's a little bit of glass. Looks like nighttime is a coming. I'm trying to find us a nice spot, you guys. Okay, that's the dock for the, for the fishing. Uh, let's grab this clay right here. We should be able to slap up a little bit of a house. We've got the wood. We're gonna need some clay for the roofing. Get a get a bed put down, and I think we'll be solid. We'll be able to sleep the night away, and then we don't have to worry about it being too dark. Oh, this is kind of nice, right along this shoreline here, huh? Where are we at in the map? Yeah, how about right over here? Right over here. I got a path here. Well, we got dirt over here. Let's do a little something right here. Uh, we're going to go tab. We're going to go up to a building icon. We're going to grab a foundation. Building our first home. Uh-huh. There it is. And, uh, well, we got to, let's, let's make sure we're going to start in the right spot here. I would like to have the front of my house kind of drop off out here so we can walk out into the water, go you know, to the water that way. Let's go number four. You see my food bar down there at the bottom, the yellow one? Let's go ahead and do back to tab. Foundation. We'll bring that up off the grass a little bit so it doesn't, you know, it's not sitting in the grass and you then use R to rotate. See what we want to do here. Um, yeah, but let's bring it back a little bit so I've got room for stairs and stuff. Let's go one, two, three. Ah, of course I'm in the way. Four. Okay, and then we're going to do something simple. We're going to put our door on the... Well... Put our door over here. I can't see. There it goes. A wall. A window. Another wall. Another wall. Uh, we'll do a window next to the door. And then we'll do solid walls here and here. Oh, I'm out of wood. Okay, so let's get some more wood. We're almost there, guys. We'll sleep. And it'll lighten up. We gotta get that workbench put up. Yeah, it won't take too long. We should have got this done a little bit earlier. I didn't think the time was gonna disappear on us that way. quite as fast as it did. Drop. Alright. Sleep. And voila! We are up and at him. You know, I may want to change where my front door is. It doesn't really suit me over here, does it? It'd be better off on this side since it's just nicer view coming in this way. Let's grab a couple of trees real quick. One thing we're going to be doing is getting some trees. Getting some fiber. Getting some stone. Getting some clay. Now we need quite a bit of stuff here. I believe what we got to do is pretty much fill our inventory with stone, clay, and rock. And then we can help this uh, the town out. Uh, we should check a look and see where the cave location is. Maybe take a walk around the island as well. Uh, nope, 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 nope. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, that's happening a lot more than it, than it did last time. What are we at? 85? 98? There we go. We got all the wood we need. Let's grab up the stone and stuff. Build a workbench. That's what we need. That's the other thing we need. Once we get that workbench, then we can also get some upgraded tools, too. Uh, let's go. Can we do actually build the workbench? Uh, we can. Uh, but I think I need to be inside to do that. Yeah, I'm going to definitely want to put the door over here. Workbench. Uh, back to tab. Workbench. And we're going to put you... Um, hmm.
Yeah, let's spin it all the way around. Okay, there we go. A whole bunch of stuff just unlocked for us. We got a uh, new axe. We got a torch. Uh, we have a watering can. A new pickaxe we can make. And a fishing pole. Weapon-wise, we've got just the sword. That's all we've got so far. And there's nothing really in here for us at all. Um, clothes. Now, the next thing I need to do is go see... Uh, I got logs on my roof. Yeah. Go see about getting all the materials we need together for the, the town, the village, so we can get um, some shops opened up. Let's grab up some more stone. I'm going to grab up what I need to open that first thing for the town, and I'll come back. There's a barrel here outside this one entrance to town. You got the town center and you got the fishing docks. So there is a barrel right there that I picked up. I believe those things respawn. Maybe not that one, but I know a lot of them do along the shoreline and stuff. I've got all the wood I need. I'm just still working on getting the rest of the ingredients together to kind of help the town out this first this first task they're asking me to do. Because I believe we can get the, the if we get the seed gal up and running with some of the seeds she does we'll be able to go sell some product and then buy some product for her and that's going to help us out in the long run we've got to find a way to make some money so we can upgrade our backpacks so we can carry more because eventually you know you've got to have more of items in order to do it you've got to have it all on you when you go in to to do the job and, and to do the upgrade if it calls for 150 wood your backpack's going to have to carry 150 wood so i'm just kind of filling things up right now Get all the stuff we need to kind of get going on all these little missions. This is kind of this tutorial stage of the game. Oh boy, we got a big old storm coming in. This is interesting. It's raining hard. What's in tab? I got something new here. Looks like we got the refinery up and ready to go, the wood pile, and the stone pile. Okay, so we've looked at that stuff now. And we've got the well and the crop plot available to us also. Very good. So we could probably get some we could get some berries growing. And here is where we could do some upgrading. So I'm gonna grab uh, this is a increased health pool. This is gonna give us one more hot bar plot. I'm gonna grab the health pool first. Uh, I don't have the points. I got one point. So then let's go ahead and do the uh, hot bar. We'll do that first. And then we'll get the other heart, uh, the health point. Uh, still just out gathering up the necessary necessary things to help the town out for that first little job we've gotta do. So I'll be back when I get the rest of it put together. I'm getting close. I'm across this waterway here. I don't think we've been have we been over here yet? I don't think we've been over here yet. It shows up on the map, but we've not been in here. I don't need the stone. There's some marigolds right here to chop down. Uh, I guess I could do that since we're here. Let's try to make a mental note of that too, that that's marigolds. The flowers and the food we can grow and sell to the merchant. Um, and, you know, it's going to help us make some money. Uh, okay, this is going to tell. Oh, let's grab this chunk of clay right here quick, too. It's going to ask me to do his jump. I'll make sure you guys are here for that, too. It only takes a few swings to get a clay node, and we're at 64 clay. So, here, I'm going to tell you about the long distance jump. Okay. So you have to jump and hit shift. Here is our other little stone. Ooh, look at this here. You know what? I'm going to just do this. Activate. Well, check it out. We got some pears. That's cool. Alright, pears. Still gathering it up. I'm looking for clay at the moment. That's just a new area. We've not been down there, so I'm just kind of uh, circling the map, walking along the edges. Looks like we were here a little bit ago. Uh, number one, we need our we need clay. We're almost there. Uh, one. 
It is nasty. It's getting dark. It's raining. Does that stop the rain? Whew, that's good. Holy moly. It got to the point where I couldn't see anything. It was so thick coming down. Just big time rain showers. Uh, I was kind of, whoa, splashing down over here. Just checking to see what the landscape looks like. We are now uh, kind of south of town. We're going to go over here and see what this is all about. I think all I got to do is go push a button there and we should be good to go if what I did on my test run worked. Should be good to go. Let's grab these roses here. There we go. And a few berries. Yeah, beautiful. So each of these products is looks like to me like it's giving me some seeds as well. If I go into my backpack, I can look and see here under seeds. I've got two blueberry seeds right now. I have a pear seed, which is awesome. Uh, marigold seed and a uh, rose seed. But that's it. That's all I've got for seeds at the moment. We should be able to buy seeds from that merchant if we can get her shop up and running and get her in it. Uh, here's some more clay. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, there's a nice little pool of water down here. Hmm. I don't want to settle in too much. I haven't been around the whole map yet, so I don't know what's going on on this initial island here. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? This has got clay all the way around it, which is exactly what I'm looking for. We should be able to go up to uh, town now and get that first piece of thing going. We're going to check out the cave, though, first. Uh, okay, got all of that I can do. Uh, if I go to the map... Yeah, I should be heading for it right over here. Some of the layout of Lens Island is the same. It does look the same, like this wall right here and stuff. But this stuff is, this stuff has changed a little bit here. So you can see here, actually, map updated. What is that? Oh, is that telling me? I bet that's telling me exactly where I need to go, huh? Yeah, there is another shrine over here we got to go to first to get this map open. So we're not there yet. We've got two of the three. I thought we had. I thought we were going to get one more, but that's not the case. And then there's this guy right here. I thought he was one of them, but this doesn't do anything. Okay, I forgot about that. Okay, so not him. Uh, and we've got everything else we need. What about? Let's. Um, we could chop these roses though. Our goal today is to get started on the missions for the town because the village is going to be our lifeline for the money and stuff at the moment, I believe. Best way to get started. Uh, we got a bottle over here. Uh, we've got an island over here, too. What do we got over here? Okay, that's where we want to go. Let's go over here and see if we can find that. Swim, Len, swim. Like, oh, look at the purple flowers. Nice. Oh, pumpkins, too. Oh, pumpkins. That's new. I don't remember seeing pumpkins laying around before, do you? Oh, we got a nest. Okay, we kill that thing, and then we do the same thing over here. Get out of here, you punk! I honestly believe it's just best to go in here and just, just do this. There we go. That's all chopped up. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay, so here we go. Let's go inside. Let's eat a little something. There we go. We'll go on inside. This is the, the cave, the equivalent of the cave that was, I believe, like the abandoned mine shaft or the busted up mine shaft that was near our house last time we played this together. So this is really a very small cave. We're going to make the time in here very short. There's our little icon we're looking for. Activate that. Oh, oh, baby. Mushrooms. That's new. And then over here, I believe we have some coal, possibly. No, it looks like it's just stone. Uh, here, we want this. You can see the shine in that, hopefully, in the video. Maybe not. 
Uh, we need this. We're gonna go ahead and get a few things made, like a torch and stuff. You can hold the torch while you mine, which is great. We're not gonna be in here for very long. We're just gonna grab a few things that we need to, you know, bring ourselves along. Alright, and I think, what did I get? I got seven coal on me. Let's grab those mushrooms. Is there anything else in here that I need that I could see? I can't see anything else resource-wise other than the note of stone. I don't think this is anything here. I don't see any shimmer off of that. I, oh, I do see coal here. Let me grab this one real fast too. And then we'll light the torch that's in here. All right, let's go over to the lantern now. There we go, beautiful. All right, let's go on. Let's go on out. I think if we go to town now, we could probably help out with that. The cave should be open now as well. So we'll see about that too here in this first episode, getting that the uh, cave open. And then we should have things opened up for us to get some adventure going on here, you know? We need some, we need some, some cash though. We definitely need some cash. Uh, there's another pumpkin up here. Pumpkin slices and pumpkin seeds. Very nice. Oh, and there's lilac. Very good. That's just fiber there. You gotta be specific with the lilac bushes. They're gonna be the little purple flowers like right here, right here. You can see them. We got a pumpkin in here too. Oh, stop, stop. Lynn's freaking out. Again, it does get stuttery when you go into town, especially when you're near town. It seems to do that. Rest of the time, it's very pleasant. Oh, uh, this is the inn, so we need to actually... Uh, you know what? I bet I could do you, huh? Can I not turn... Maybe you can't turn them on because they're... I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, that's the inn. We need to come over here and see the, uh, the, the board here. Okay, so here we can upgrade. You can see we've got the 50 fiber, the 50 clay, the 100 stone, the 100 wood. We can do this now. So let's go ahead and do this and see what happens. Town level 1, house plots 2, and villagers 4. This is the next upgrade. We will get the mining outpost, a farmer, a pirate. Okay, so that's going to be the next one we want to get, and that's going to be 150 stone. So we have to get the 50 coin together to get the backpack. Okay, so we do that right there. Now, Mayor, is there anything I need to talk to you about again? Hello, Traveler. Just passing, what is this place? Uh, Bridgewater, okay, I see. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it right there for him. But over here at the tailor's shop, we come inside, there's a backpack in here for 50 gold coins. We could do that. We just need it. Increases inventory slots to 200, so we need that backpack in order to move forward. Uh, okay, so where's the cave from here? The cave is due south from here. We upgraded town. You can see little market stalls, and this kind of uh, filled in a little bit, too. We've got other people here in town, but there's not much I can do to sell anything to them at the moment. At least it doesn't seem like it. Do I have to go? i got to go around the, the fenced-in area. I've not explored this up here yet. We'll do that together. I'll try to make sure I do all that stuff together with you guys. Here's the path, though, that leads to this. Yeah, this is where we wanted to go. All right, I think we should be able to. We've got all three of these opened up now. We should be able to go unlock the door. Holy guacamole. Lovely. Come on, Lynn. We're looking for metal shards and coal. A little more coal and a few more metal shards and we're going to be able to get some things going now, but look in here you can see can i can i can't make anything though can i i can't not yet uh, but we can like that up jump jump and spin sorry it's so dark we're gonna light these up as we go though don't you worry about it so you guys can see now these boxes are just breaking on their own i was having to smash those before i think Oh, it's so scary to walk along this edge. I can't see nothing. Got 
Get some bad guys over here. Okay. Check the boxes. Don't forget to check the boxes. Got a big old waterfall right here. It's loud, huh? Well, that was awesome. I gotta say, it sounds like I'm in a cave, right? I see more mushrooms down there, but I'm not going after them. Okay, we're gonna go back the other way. Back this way a little bit. Mm -hmm. What does it say about these mushrooms in my inventory? Harvesting from caves and dark areas doesn't say anything about if it's good for me, not good for me. We got a large tasty vegetable that will keep you full for hours. Sold at the market. Let's try it. Let's... Can I not? Oh, there we go. There we go. Wow. That is filling. <laughs> that is quite filling indeed. Okay. All right. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. We've got to eat the pumpkins. Yeah, take it, mushrooms. I got it. Okay. When you're in here, and I know it's dark, we're going to get that torch made. We're going to go back to the shop right after we get this right here. We'll go back home and get out of the cave. The workbench is what I need. There's those metal shards we're looking for. That looks like just regular rock to me. But we'll eat some rock too. We gave it all away. We're gonna head home and make some better tools so this stuff all goes a little bit faster already for us, you know? What I mean, jelly bean? Let's jump down here and... Ooh, that was almost a little too soon to be jumping. Let's see if we can find... Oh, what's this over here? There's some gold. Oh, baby. There it is. Three gold. <laughs> We're rich. Uh, nothing. I missed that last time. I didn't see that. All right, break the box. Again, there's a good node right here. It's worth stopping and grabbing the coal. After this one, we should have enough of what we need to get going here at home. Which I have not decided where I want to be. You guys got suggestions on what part of the island would be better? Let me know. Right now, that southern part that we were just visiting looked pretty nice to me. That's the dungeon, and it gets worse, of course, as you go down. <laughs> we did a little bit of that last time we played Lens Island. But yeah, it definitely has its... Uh, it's going to be a thing down below there. Okay, so we got that taken care of. We are now heading for home. Uh, I'll meet you there because it's going to be a dark run all the way there. Okay, I've made it home. Let's sleep. We'll get the sun up. Take a look. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Workbench. Looks like we can make a, maybe make a few things. What am I missing? I'm missing some wood. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, hold on. We we are still missing a few. Yeah, I'm gonna change where that door is for sure. Uh huh. Well, like I said, this is kind of temporary. Let's get our good tools and things like that. And then I'm gonna figure out where we're gonna lay down some roots. Just chop down two trees, and that should give us just what we need here to, you know, pop. Whoop. There it goes, there it goes. It was thinking about it. Resources do grow back, by the way, in case you're wondering. They do come back. Let's grab you, and yes. Okay, so we definitely want the torch, because that was obvious. We're going to craft that first. We're going to get the watering can, at least the tier one watering can. Now what am I missing? I'm missing uh, more wood. It looks like I've got the metal, though, in my pocket. Maybe I've got the enough... I do. I've got enough metal. I just need just a little bit more wood. And we can have the better tools.
Come on now, radio. <laughs> we got it. Okay, and then let's just grab this tree too, because I seem to keep running out of this material, which is, you know, totally expected. Of course. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah, I'm gonna look for a sweet spot for us to build a little place to start doing our farming. And now we're back inside. There we go. And here we go. So we are gonna grab our pick, craft, our axe, and craft, and our fishing pole. And we will craft it. We have now all of our tools. Which is awesome. Now, let's close this. What do we got here? Tab. Get some new stuff available to us. We got a skill point, huh? Two skill points. So, what do we want? This is base damage, base damage increase, plus 5%. Uh, resource gathering damage, plus 5%. Uh, this is a increase our health pool by 25. I think that's what I'm going to do. An extra hotbar slot. We did that one already. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that one. And unlock that so we get a little bit more of a health pool. I think that makes a little more sense, especially for somebody like myself who likes to try to tank everything. Now, back in our building area, we've got furniture. Do I have a storage box? I need I need wood. And, okay, so I need... Well, we don't need a storage box. We need a toolbox. But I'm thinking right now that maybe I don't want to live right over here. I don't know that I do. I think I'd like to scour the island a little bit more and see what I think. Uh, we did a lot. We got everything. Now, these are the new residences for the town right here. Looks like this is the village wall. It pretty much goes all the way around all of this. But you've got uh, mailboxes here that we could go uh, up to and then uh, work with those houses to get them up and going. So we'll have to figure that out on the next episode. Um, yeah, you know, send me some feedback on what you think. I love Lens Island. I think it's a fun little game. We've barely scratched the surface today, but we did get, you know, the bed, a little bit of house, some of the quest stuff taken care of. And yeah, that's just awesome. I love that. Right click on an icon to get rid of it. We're moving along. We've got now the, the campfires opened up. This utility box we'll put at the house where we decide to build it so that way we can. Um, have our tools accessible right there. We've got the refinery open. I wouldn't mind doing a wood pile and seeing what that looks like. I bet that's cool. And a stone pile. I love those. I don't remember those from before. I want to say those are new. In terms of materials to build with, you've got stone. You have ornate. And you have pagoda. There's pagoda building. All those are in there, which is pretty awesome. We're, of course, just at the wood level at the moment. But you can see the different pieces that are in here. You know, nice pieces. Uh, what else did I want to make sure I showed you? We got that taken care of. We got the building taken care of. The resource tab is here. Uh, you can see resources. You can see our seeds. You can see our food supply and the, the supply of things we can sell. Uh, we've got uh, different other food items, which some of this I don't recognize, including the potions. That seems like it's something different now. And then you've got the different fish that you can catch as well. We have three gold to our name, and that is it. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show your support. Hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.